when you're doing your dog's feet, you want to make sure that we're doing the tops of them to keep them kind of nice and trim, and then the bottoms of them, especially for these fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy feet, because if they're not trimmed up, they're going to be very slippery. It's going to be like him really walking on those slippers, and we want to make sure that we have traction. For certain breeds, like the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, they actually like them to have fuzzy feet, but we want to make sure that we're still trimming the underside of those fuzzy feet so that they do have that traction. If you want to keep those top slippers, you want to make sure that you're going to brush them every day or every other day because they also knot up just like the rest of their fur. So you're going to take your comb and your brush and you're going to push their hair up between their toes and you're going to brush that out. That way you don't have any knots in there. So when I do Dexter's foot, I want to pick up his foot pad and I take the clippers and I just kind of go inside there and inside those pads to kind of get that fur that's in there. Because if not, that fur will knot up. And when you're going to clip them or even take the scissors to them, what you can do is you can pull that fur right between their toes and then you can just take it over the top or take your clipper over the top. And then I just try to do a nice little round cut. So now that Dexter's fully brushed, the next thing that I need to do is I need to think about these fuzzy feet and about taking care of them. So I'm going to go ahead and take our clippers and clip through them. So a little bit of a hack job, but my goal is never about beauty. My goal is to be able to do this as quickly as possible for Dexter so that he can tolerate it and to be nice and clean cut down there so that he's not so dirty and he doesn't pick up all the leaves. So hopefully you found this video helpful and don't be afraid, just go ahead and give it a shot. If you're going to use scissors, you really want to be very careful that you don't stab your dog and that they're really comfortable about doing these things. Obviously I taught Dexter that these clippers were safe and not scary way before I started to put him next to his feet. So all I did was turn it on really fast and then give him a treat. Turn it on really fast and then give him a treat. And then I just built, you know, I just kind of got him a little more comfortable with it. Turned it on, went towards his foot, and gave him a treat.